well, parents, coaches, teachers, and most importantly, graduates. Thank you for giving me a chance to be a part of this big day. Doing this remotely, I'm not sure what kind of intro I was given, so I will give myself a quick one. Uh, my name is Patrick Sharon, and I'm a member of the graduating class of 2008. <clears throat> my graduating class that year uh, was 42 students, which at the time was the largest ever. Needless to say, the school has come a long way since. After graduating from Edge, I played hockey for a couple years before going to Lake Forest College just outside of Chicago, where I played hockey for four years and graduated with a degree in finance. From there, I got a master's degree in accounting from the Univers University of Illinois and got my CPA designation, and I've been working and living in Chicago in the accounting profession uh, for the last six years. When I think about the role that Edge has, has played on my life, I first think back to when I graduated. Um, I knew at the time that Edge was a unique experience and had given me an advantage, but I didn't quite understand the depth of that until several years later. I had come to Edge in grade eight, and it was frankly like putting on a, a shoe that fit. Um, I loved the competitive culture, <clears throat> I, the way I was pushed as both a student and as an athlete, um, and of course, the opportunity to play hockey more than I already was, was uh, a 12-year-old's dream. So, I, you know, graduating, I knew that I had, I had graduated as a better athlete and as a better student. Um, though I have to be honest, uh, I was still a fairly mediocre student in high school. Uh, if, I was doing this, if I was doing this speech live, um, now would be the time where I'd find Mr. Taylor or, or Brownie in the crowd trying to hide their snickering. Um, having said that, my average beginnings as a student led to my first revelation about just how important EDGE was to me. <clears throat> um, once I got into university and started to think more about what I wanted to do with the rest of my life um, and took classes that I uh, enjoyed more than grade 12 math, sorry, uh, math teachers, no offense. <clears throat> once, I, once I got into that, I started to figure the whole school thing out. I started to apply the same discipline and process-driven approach that had made me um, successful as an athlete to to my class and my studies. Um, when I reflect on that, I, you know, I actually started a lot of those habits, I think, when I was at Edge. Um, I didn't just wake up one day at 20 years old and, and flip a switch. A lot of those habits were ingrained in, ingrained in me from my years at Edge um, and the model of, of using your passion for sport to, to drive other areas of your life. Uh, it also helped that my Edge travel schedule in grades 10, 11, 12 was, was more intense than my college schedule, so that prepared me to, for the challenges of being a student athlete. Um, the rigors of which, I will add, uh, build skills that are very but valuable once you get into the real world. I tell people till I'm blue in the face that former athletes make the best employees for um, you know, their time management skills, how to, how to fit in with a team, and, and, you know, how to fit in with a culture. <clears throat> um, it's unparalleled. So um, the other thing that I, I underappreciated when I graduated uh, was just how prepared I was as a leader as a result of the unique experience I had at Edge. Uh, I realized pretty quickly once I started working just how few people had the kind of experience that I had. Whether it was leadership opportunities, playing hockey or rugby, participating in Edge Olympics, um, go Kilimanjaro, um, being a part of student, le student leadership, or just the quality of, of people that I got to spend so much time around at Edge. Uh, this experience prepared me years in advance for, for being a leader as a young professional. Um, I've got into, the, got into the real world and I realized there's a lot of people that they don't get the opportunity or even the requirement to lead um, or have any kind of leadership role until they're in their late 20s and all of a sudden they have to manage a team for the first time. As I've got into, into these roles in my career, I've, I've realized that what's second, for, second nature for me is, is, obvious, is sometimes a, a brand new experience for others and these people are, are 30 years old. So, um, I think I underappreciated that coming out of Edge, just how prepared I was for that. Um, so, since no graduation speech is complete without some un unsolicited advice, here's mine. Uh, my message to the graduating class um, and to all Edge students really is, is don't underestimate your ability to lead. Um, you already have such an advantage over many of the, your peers that you're going to come across in the next couple of years as you go out into the into um, post-secondary or, or the next chapter. So let that confidence fuel your next challenge. Uh, you're more prepared for the, your challenge than your next chapter, your next phase, than, than you probably think. So um, with that, you know, good luck to all the graduates. Congratulations. I know, you know, graduating is a, is a triumph to be shared by all the families and teachers and coaches as well. So congratulations to everybody. Um, enjoy the day.
Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Edge School for Athletes graduating class of 2021. Campbell Andrews. Campbell is always thinking of the next step in order to achieve her goals, whether these goals are oriented towards taking her athletics and academics to the next level or getting through class. EDGE teachers and coaches have been instrumental in getting her ready for these goals, whatever the goal may be. Success would not be possible without the help of her teachers. Aside from teaching, they put up with students many questions, constant clowning, and untimely assignments handed in. Campbell, Campbell feels continuing on to the next level would not be possible without the love and support she has received from her family, teachers and coaches throughout the years. Campbell will be attending the College of Southern Idaho next year to play basketball and study biological sciences. Best of luck, Campbell. Jaden Bates. Jaden has enjoyed his time with the basketball program. It has allowed him to consistently work on his game. He'd like to thank everyone that made his grade 12 year special. Jaden would like to give a big thank you to his mom and dad for sticking with him no matter what the circumstances are, and to his brothers for always supporting him. Jaden is looking forward to a post-grad year at EDGE with the goal of attending NCAA Division I. Island Bernard Docker. Island Bernard Docker has been attending EDGE since grade eight. Her favorite memory at EDGE was during playoffs in 2020 when the entire team would warm up outside and scream the song Roar by Katy Perry before every game. A highlight win would be bringing home three banners in one year, along with back-to-back -back rookie idol titles. Her goals in the future are to become successful, however her plan to accomplish this has yet to be determined. Island would like to thank her EDGE family that aided tremendously in her development, specifically her teammates, graduating classmates, and Carla. Her biggest thank you goes out to her parents, who have helped her every step of the way. Congratulations, Island. Mia Baird. Mia has been attending EDGE for three years. Winning the playoffs in the 2019-2020 season was her sporting highlight, as well as the many memories she has made with her teammates and friends. Mia will continue her hockey career and education at the University of British Columbia. She would like to thank her parents for giving her every opportunity, her friends for providing comedic relief and support, Carla for helping her grow not only as a hockey player but as a person, and all of the EDGE staff for contributing to her exceptional experience in high school. Congratulations, Mia. Nathan Bomber. Nathan has some amazing memories from his two short years at EDGE and there isn't really one to pick. From the bus rides to the flights, great memories were made along the way. A big highlight for, for his EDGE career was getting the opportunity to play in the St. Andrews Tournament. Nathan plans to continue his hockey and academic career after high school. He would like to thank all of the EDGE staff, coaches and players for making his two years at EDGE really count. Best of luck, Nathan. Brianna Bordniuk. Brianna would like to thank all the incredible people at EDGE, from the maintenance staff to KT and Pole Hill. You have left a very lasting impression on her and what it means to have strong character. Specifically, she'd like to thank all of her teachers from grade five to grade 12 for their patience during tests, especially Mr. LeBlanc. Although Brianna never played for an EDGE team, she earned a national bronze in soccer and a spot on Team Alberta for two years. However, what Brianna will miss the most dearly about EDGE is the hot yoga gym classes with Sarge and substitute teaching in Biology 20. Furthering her soccer career, Brianna will be attending McGill University on the women's varsity team. Additionally, she'll be studying biological, biomedical, and life sciences with an end goal of becoming a sports medicine practitioner so she can again answer everyone's questions. Congratulations, Brianna. Adam Chapka. Arriving in Canada, Adam knew that this experience was going to be completely different than any other. He left his home in Czech Republic to start a new journey at the EDGE school. Being in a new country, he knew he would be met with challenges, likely more difficult than those encountered before. With focus, effort, and determination, he is here receiving his grade 12 diploma, and this is where his Canadian journey ends, for now. He would like to thank the many great people that have helped him and kept him company along the way. The memories from his time at Edge School are fond and will stay with him throughout his life. Congratulations, Adam. Marson Cousins. Marson has been an Edge student since grade eight. Unfortunately, we did lose her for half a year when she moved to Russia to train at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy. 
Martin has greatly enjoyed her five years at EDGE and will miss her friends, teachers and coaches when she moves to Dresden, Germany this fall to continue her ballet training at Palooka University of Dance. Although she will not be continuing her traditional education, Marston will miss fighting for any extra marks she can and avoiding public speaking at all costs. Marston would like to thank all of her teachers and coaches for supporting her throughout her time at EDGE, as well as their patience and commitment. Finally, Marston would like to thank her family for their endless love and support. Best of luck, Marston. Peyton DaCosta. Peyton calls EDGE home and has been a proud member of the soccer program since grade nine. Over her time at EDGE, she remembers the fun in Mr. P and Mr. Almond's classes. Her sporting highlights include all the team travel and going to provincials. These are memories that will last a lifetime. Peyton is looking forward to heading to BC as she continues to pursue her passion for soccer and learning. Congratulations, Peyton. Jaden Davis. Jaden, or JD, has enjoyed his time at EDGE. In class with his teammates, messing around a lot of the time, then on the ice, where in his E15 year, he scored the game-winning goal in playoffs in overtime. This was a very special moment, not only because the goal, but his mom was in the stands watching for the first time since her cancer diagnosis. Jaden is grateful for the opportunities that playing hockey has given him. He has traveled all over North America and overseas. This year, Jaden won Rookie of the Year while playing for his AJHL team, the Spruce Grove Saints and plans on continuing with them next year before heading off to play for a U.S. college. Jaden would like to thank all of his teachers, coaches, and his family for all of their support. Good luck, Jaden. Jaden Denroche. Jaden will never forget the experiences he has had at EDGE, especially when in his first year at EDGE, the team traveled to Anaheim for a tournament. The game before the finals, half of the team was suspended, and going into the third period of the finals, they were down 4-2. Somehow they went on the ice with 10 skaters and a goalie and won the whole thing in a shootout. It was, an, it was awesome to see all the boys pull together as a group like that. That's a memory that he will never forget for the rest of his life. Jaden would like to thank his teachers and coaches for all the great memories and congratulate the class of 2021 on all their accomplishments. Janet Rose. Janet, or Janny to all who know her well, has made Edger home for her high school years. Her favorite memories in the classroom are wrapping Christina's backpack, keys and wallet in plastic wrap, then wrapping it to a pole right before Calc started with Nico, Yarmi, and Ski. Love you, Wizzy. On the court, her best memory, without a doubt, was playing and annihilating Kelly's E15s in a pickup basketball game. Janet is known for her antics in the classroom and on the court. Some career highlights are mixing up the other team's shot clock and the game clock in a close game and shooting a random half-court shot mid-game. Next year, Jenny will take her basketball skills to play for Wilfrid Laurier University, where she will study political science. Janet would like to sh uh, shout out to Jason LeBlanc for being the best teacher and person a student could ever ask for. You are one of the homies, and I'll miss having you in my corner next year. Congratulations, Janet. Connor Fute. Connor has been a member of the EDGE basketball program and has made many memories, even though he has only been at EDGE for a short time. Basketball has created great opportunities for Connor, and a recent highlight was winning the MIP for the prep program this year. Another career highlight was winning a championship in grade 10 as captain at the team of his old school. Connor has had many opportunities in sport and academics and is looking forward to pursuing both in the years ahead. Congratulations, Connor. William Forrester. William has some great memories from his experiences at EDGE. No matter how early and painful his morning hockey practices and workouts were, he still had great times with his team and shared so many laughs. On his third day of school at EDGE, Will unfortunately fell down a mountain on an outdoor ED trip, but it would be the first of many Mountaineer awards that he would receive throughout his time at EDGE. Some of his favorite sporting memories happened on all the fun bus rides and team dinners he shared with his teammates while on the road. Will also enjoyed his time as the practice goalie for the female prep team and demonstrating his figure skating skills during hockey games. In the future, Will plans on continuing to pursue his hockey aspirations at the junior level and attending one of the five post-secondary schools he has been accepted into at, for the Faculty of Science. He would like to thank his family for all the sacrifices they have made for him. Also, he would like to thank the coaches, teachers, teammates, and other EDGE staff for making his two years at memorable at EDGE. Best of luck, Will. Julia Foster. 
Julia really cherished her time at Edge. She's made lots of new friends and grown very close to many of her teammates, making great memories. Her favorite sport memories are scrimmaging with the guys in the morning, hanging out in the gym after practice, and playing nine square and spike ball. Julia's favorite part about school was the many moments and laughs during biology. Julia would like to thank her coaches, Eddie, Elise, and Hillary, Hillary for pushing her and helping her grow in her game. Next year, she's excited to take kinesiology at the University of Prince Edward Island while playing on the women's basketball team. Congratulations, Julia. Gracie Gilkinson. Gracie has been at Edge for three years and has made many unforgettable memories, from somehow breaking an ankle while celebrating, to winning Mandy, to watching Nicole May perform Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, to winning the league championship, and to finally reaching the end. She couldn't have asked for a better experience. The many long drives to the Edge may not be quite as missed, but will still have a place in her heart. Long live the carpool. Gracie would like to thank pretty much everyone ever, She's beyond grateful to the entire EDGE staff and her friends for all the laughs. Special shout out to Carla for all she has taught Gracie on and off the ice and to the girls for the epic ladies nights. Gracie would like to thank her family for all the sacrifices they've made for her. Mark and Cindy couldn't have been more supportive and have shaped her into who she is today. She loves them very much. Congratulations, Gracie. Avery Grant. Avery has had a memorable time at EDGE. Grade 11 English class brought out some great laughs. She'd like to thank Miss Wilde for putting up with them. Placing top 24 in Canada at YAGP semifinals was her top sporting memory, along with all the amazing trips around the world with her team. In the future, Avery plans on continuing her dance aspirations. Avery would like to thank her parents for all the sacrifices made for her. Also to Dr. Matt Brown, teammates, coaches, and teachers for their support over the years. Best of luck, Avery. Bryden Hugo. Bryden joined Edge in his grade 10 year and has great memories of his time at the school and with the hockey team. His funniest class memory is during online classes when accidentally swearing after learning of an assignment, thinking his mic was off. Lesson learned. Bryden's favorite hockey memory is winning the Anaheim tournament after half of the team had been suspended from playing the game before. Bryden would like to thank his teachers and friends for a great three years. Next year, he'll be playing hockey in Utah. Best of luck, Bryden. Mackenzie Hind. Mackenzie has attended Edge since grade eight. and these past years, she has had lots of laughs while camping, hiking, and rock climbing with her classmates. Mackenzie's curiosity to become a veterinary technician has led her to work and volunteer at a veterinary clinic. In the future, she hopes to learn more about animals and go to school for the AHT program. She would like to thank her friends and family who have helped her get through this rough year and are teaching her to stay positive. She would also like to thank all of her mentors for helping her succeed and wishes everyone good luck in their future plans. Best of luck, Mackenzie. Cameron Herdlicka. Cameron's three years at Edge were filled with many memories such as winning the annual dodgeball tournament two years in a row. However, his trip to Michigan for hockey stands out as one of his favorites. Going on the road with his team to play the game that he loves was always an amazing experience, which Cameron looks forward to continuing at the next level. In the future, he hopes to play junior hockey before moving on to university in pursuit of a degree. Cameron wishes to thank his parents for supporting him throughout his journey and for always believing in him. He would also like to thank all of his teammates, coaches, and teachers for making his time at Edge special. Best of luck, Cameron. RJ Jock. Ruak, known to everyone as RJ, has been a student at Edge for three years and has played in the basketball program. His favorite memory was his first high school tournament in Arizona. A basketball career highlight to date is his first dunk in a junior high game. RJ has signed with Vincennes University in Indiana and will play basketball for the Trailblazers next season. RJ would like to thank his coaches and teachers for everything and encouraging him to take his sport to the next level. Congratulations and good luck, RJ. Damon Jugna. Damon, better known by his teammates as Jugs, has had some great times as a student at Edge. His favorite in-class memory was the Boston school trip led by Mr. Allman and Coach Mrook. It was an amazing experience touring the many different schools and a unique bonding experience between the students that went. Damon's best sports memory at Edge was during the trip to Toronto where the Edge midget prep team competed in the St. Andrews tournament. The extremely competitive playoff-like games complemented his experience with his teammates extremely well. 
Other great times included his trip to Michigan with the midget prep team, during which the team attended a Michigan State and Michigan Wolverines hockey game, and when the midget te prep team won the Challenge Cup tournament. Damon will be headed back to Kelowna to continue his junior hockey career. He would like to thank his coaches, teachers, and family for their support, encouragement, and words of wisdom. Congratulations, Damon. Tegan Keller. Tegan, better known as Teagues, has enjoyed her time at EDGE in the dance program. Her favorite class memory is doing the Bio 30 project with Sydney. In dance, her memories take her to traveling the world with her friends and instructors. Memories and good times that will last a lifetime and have shaped the person she is today. Tegan plans to attend the Arizona State University and continue her dance ambitions. She would like to say thank you to all of her teachers for being so supportive and always being there when we needed them. Congratulations, Tegan. Chris Kabelka. Chris, or Belks, has embraced every experience at EDGE, from the great times in English class to the amazing year with the E15 team. This tight-knit team really just loved to have fun, even when the bus broke down or the fire alarm went off. Chris has many great sporting achievements at EDGE, winning the Sport School Challenge last year and the honor of the Kyle Stewart Award and Fitness Award this year. The greatest achievement to date is being signed with the BCHL Trail Smoke Eaters team for next hockey season. After junior hockey, Chris plans to pursue hockey and academics and see where it takes him. Chris would like to thank coaches Kelly, Shantz, and Pooley, and in the ducket, Ross and Trevor. Thanks to teachers for pushing him and to his parents for giving him the opportunity, it means more than words. He hopes he has made you proud and will continue to do so. Best of luck, Chris. Jaden Lawson. Jay has had many great memories from her time at EDGE. All of the overnight trips with the team and winning the league championship were the best memories from her time at EDGE. In the future, Jay plans on continuing hockey at, and post-secondary at Ryerson University in Toronto. Jay would like to thank her family for all the support and sacrifices that were made throughout her high school experience to make it the best it could be. She would also like to thank her teammates, coaches, and friends for making her years at EDGE memorable. Congratulations, Jaden, and good luck. Connor Litowski. Connor, or Calf Man, has taken his time as an EDGE student to prepare him for his next steps in life. Next year, he will be serving a mission for his church, hopefully in a foreign country. Then he will be attending Gonzaga University, taking civil engineering. He has worked hard to be accepted with an academic scholarship and looks forward to the challenges university will bring. Connor would like to thank his coaches and teachers for being a part of this journey. Congratulations, Connor. Maddie Lowe. Maddie has attended EDGE since grade five. She has enjoyed the friendships made over the years and the flexibility that the school has provided her with her intense gymnastics schedule. Maddie's athletic accomplishments include three national gymnastics championships. Next year, she will be attending the University of Western Ontario in the engineering program and will be a member of the cheer team. Maddie would like to thank her teachers and the staff at EDGE who helped her and supported her even when she had to miss so many classes due to training. Congratulations, Maddie. Abby McDermott. As a longtime EDGE student, Abby has a ton of memories from her time here at the school. Her favorite memories were those that were created on road trips with her teammates who have become some of her best friends. She is grateful for the opportunity to continue her education at Queen's University to study science next fall. She would like to thank her teachers and coaches for their support and her parents for providing her with the opportunity to attend EDGE. Best of luck, Abby. Christina Merlo. Christina, also known as Chrissy Wissy or Tina, was not here for a long time, but a good time. She remembers her first day ever playing soccer. To end off practice, each kid was to go individually and score a goal. The girls prep hockey and basketball teams were both watching. Haley hits top corner and others bar down. Christina took a big kick and missed the net entirely, as if it was not a big enough target already. Still, everybody cheered loudly and got a good laugh. Despite her soccer skills, she decided she needed to give golf a go and turned out to really love it. Next year, she'll be attending Queen's University studying business. She would like to give a shout out to all the students for making Edge so comfortable from day one and the staff for all their help. Congrats, Christina. Max Manette. Max Ormani has been an Edge student for three years. His years at EDGE have been filled with lots of lasting memories. 
His year on the Elite 15s with coach Kelly Merck was one year that he will always look back on as one of his favorite seasons of hockey to date. From the on-ice success to the off-ice brotherhood, the last never seemed to cease. Not to mention that Max swears that almost every hotel they stayed in that year, the fire alarm went off. Next year, Max will continue his hockey career, playing in the AJHL for the Canmore Eagles and plans to attend post-secondary school after. Max would like to thank his family for supporting him, his friends for all the memories, and the entire Edge staff for an excellent high school experience. Congratulations, Max. Lizzie Mira. Lizzie came to Edge in her grade 10 year to play on the female prep U18 team because she was obsessed with Sarah Wozniewicz and would follow her anywhere. She'll remember all the great memories from her team's road trips, crying in front of Janet in Banker's math class when she shadowed Lizzie, and her Bio 20 class where she only learned 7 eighths of the curriculum. In the future, Lizzie plans to be rich and then marry rich and own a lot of dogs, but until then she'll be continuing her academic and hockey journey at McGill University where she'll be majoring in business. She would like to thank all of the teachers, staff, and her friends for helping her throughout her time at Edge and making the last three years so special. Carla is also getting a huge shout out from Lizzie for dealing with her, especially during her vegetarian days. Most importantly, Lizzie would like to thank her mom and dad for only threatening to disown her uh, when she was being difficult and not actually doing it. But in all seriousness, she appreciates everything they did for her and wants them to know how grateful she is for them. Congratulations, Lizzie Miro. Emma Nimchuk. Emma has made some amazing memories during her time at Edge. Ms. Johnson's math classes were always full of laughs and jokes that started in grade 10 and lasted until grade 12. Emma will always cherish the special memories she made with her fellow dancers and friends from competition season to traveling across the world, including Japan and Europe. Emma's proudest accomplishments while being at EDGE included reaching her goals of competing at YAGP, competing her Royal Academy of Dance Ballet exams, and beginning to teach dance in grade 12. In the fall, Emma will be attending Grand Prairie Regional College in the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program. Emma would like to thank her parents for all of the sacrifices they have made for her. She would also like to give a huge thank you to all of her teachers, dance instructors, and teammates for supporting and helping her reach all of her goals. All of the memorable moments she has made at EDGE, she will remember for the rest of her life. Best of luck, Emma. Marjack Akato. Marjack, better known as MJ, joined EDGE in his grade 12 year. He came to us via St. Louis, Missouri, where he was pursuing his basketball dreams when COVID interrupted his journey. EDGE was a great landing spot for MJ as he made great new connections, developed his game, and graduated high school. His favorite sporting memory was his first in-game dunk in grade 10 as a senior. Next year, MJ will be continuing his academics and athletics at Carleton University. Good luck, MJ. Justine Park. Justine joined the EDGE school in her grade 11 year. She's an active member of the dance program. Although it has been a very different journey through high school with online learning and virtual dance, class, dance classes, it has definitely been memorable. Justine will continue to pursue her dance and academics after high school. She would like to thank her teachers, dance instructors, and her family for their support and guidance. Congratulations, Justine. Rhett Parsons. Rhett Parsons, better known as Retro, has been a student at EDGE for three years. The three years he spent at EDGE were filled with memories that will last a lifetime. Some memories include winning the sports school championship at EDGE in his prep year and finishing well in the playoffs in his Elite 15s year. Rhett is currently playing for the Medicine Hat Tigers and hopes to continue his hockey career and one day play pro. He would like to thank everybody who has helped him to get to this point. His coaches, teachers, family and friends. Congratulations, Rhett. Curtis Patrick. Curtis, also known at school as CP, has been at EDGE since grade five. He is going to miss playing hockey and going to school with a lot of his best friends. Curtis has made a lot of memories during his time at EDGE, one of the most memorable being the tournament the team won in grade 10. Although he is not too sure what life will look like after this year, he does know that he would like to attend post-secondary somewhere of his choosing. Curtis would like to thank his parents for all the support they have given him with everything he has done in his life and would also like to say thank you to all the teachers that taught him during his years spent at EDGE. 
Finally, he would like to give a big thanks to Josh Gosling for giving him the three best years of hockey he has experienced in his life. Congratulations, Curtis. Sydney Pierce. Sydney has been an edge student since 2015, except for her grade 11 year, which she spent trying all the different kinds of poutine in Montreal and attending ballet school. In the fall, she will be returning to Montreal training at École Supérieure de Ballet du Québec in a three-year postgraduate ballet program. Sydney was also accepted into the Faculty of Arts at McGill University. Sydney will always cherish her time at Edge. She will especially miss the famous Edge barbecue burgers and bugging her mom Shannon at the front office for the car keys for coffee runs during her spare. Sydney is proud to be from the first graduating class indoctrinated in the fine art of hand sanitizing, Zoom class, and mask wearing. Sydney would like to thank all her academic and dance teachers for their unconditional support and for always believing in her. She would also like to thank her mom, dad, sister, and all family and friends for their love and support from day one. Congratulations, Sydney. Tegan Skier. Tegan, also known as Ski, first started at the Edge in grade 10. He will never forget the memories he made on the road trips of his E15's year, including all the times the bus broke down, which seemed like every time. Kelly's rowdy pregame speeches, shake and bake, baby. Tegan's in-class memories include the ongoing rivalry between Chris and Jonas to see who could answer Miss Van Vliet's bio questions first, only to chirp at each other afterwards. Tegan plans to continue playing hockey in the AJHL next year, then hopefully move on to university somewhere in the U.S. to continue his hockey and academic career. Tegan would like to thank the staff at Edge for their friendly and caring attitudes they bring to the school every day. He would also like to thank his family for the support they gave him through the years at Edge, and most importantly, his friends for the memories they made that will last a lifetime. Congratulations, Tegan. Keegan Slaney. Keegan, better known as Slanes, has made great memories and friends at Edge School. His favorite memories are the Edge Olympics and the team trip to Chicago. Keegan's greatest sporting accomplishment to date is making the WHL with the Edmonton Oil Kings, and he is looking forward to continuing his hockey career and playing junior hockey next year. Keegan would like to thank Coach Poole for making his hockey experience with Edge one he will never forget. He would like to say to his classmates that even though we will all take different paths in life, no matter where we are or where we go, it is great to have made lifelong friends. Best of luck, Keegan. Sage Stedman. Sage's first and only year at Edge has been a wild ride, but she has created many long-lasting memories. In her year at Edge, Sage has grown her confidence by feeling supported in everything she does and feels comfortable letting her personality shine through on the court and in class. Sage has felt supported in all of her classes by fellow peers and her teachers while learning new things in a new environment. Throughout her time in class, Sage has made valuable new friendships with people outside of her team. Sage would like to thank her teachers, coaches, teammates, friends, and other EDGE staff for helping her come out of her shell and grow, not only as a student athlete, but also as a person. This year at EDGE has taught Sage some valuable tools that she can use in her future to become the most successful version of herself. Good luck, Sage. Jonas Sufa. Jonas, or Jonas, came to Edge to pursue his hockey aspirations. He has enjoyed his time in class, especially having chemistry all year long. His favorite hockey memory is playoffs last year, and he is grateful to have had this experience so that he could grow and mature as an athlete. Next year, he'll be taking a gap year to work and take personal training courses. Then he will study kinesiology and eventually open his own gym. Jonas would like to congratulate all his teammates and fellow grads on their accomplishments. Best of luck, Jonas. Callum Swanton Roger. Callum has been at Edge since grade 10 and has great memories of his time playing basketball here. His favorite sporting memory is playing in the Tarkanian Classic Tournament in Las Vegas. He has had many opportunities to showcase his talents and is looking forward to developing them even further as an Edge postgrad next year. Future plans are to work for a scholarship, play ball, and attend a U.S. college. Uh, he'd like to thank everyone at Edge and his family for their continued support of his dreams. Congratulations, Callum. Austin Tessier. Austin Tessier has made many memories within the halls of the Edge School. One of Austin's best memories was getting to experience what it means to be a mountaineer 
and to experience the culture through the eyes of a student athlete. Stepping on the ice for the first time wearing an edge jersey was his top sporting memory. Austin has signed with the Utah Outliers for the next season, where he plans to continue to develop his hockey skills further. We would like to thank his parents for all their sacrifices they have made, as well as their dedication to helping him become a better person. Austin would also like to thank the Edge staff for making the past two years the most memorable years of high school. Congratulations, Austin. Nico Valimaki. Nico, also known as Nessu, will never forget the experiences he has had at Edge. His favorite class memory was in Miss Wilde's English class when he ordered coffee for everyone. In hockey, there are too many memories to pick, but Nico always enjoyed the feeling when going to the locker room after winning a game. He'd like to thank his friends. Without them, he would have been lost. The experience of friendships from different countries is so unique and it warms his heart to think of his lasting relationships at Edge. He feels blessed to have always had someone on his side and someone to rely on. Nico would like to thank the faculty and staff for always listening and caring. A shout out to Coach Poole and Mrs. Fred. They always had his back, no matter what the challenges. Finally, he'd like to thank his family for their ongoing support and for the opportunity to attend EDGE. Nico will always appreciate his time at EDGE. Remember his friends and be grateful for this amazing experience. Thank you. Congratulations, Nico. Samuel Vincent. Sam, who is known by friends as Vinny, is grateful for his experience at Edge School, especially the friends he has made during his time at the school. Sam remembers driving to 7 a.m. practices and all the good times on the road with his teens. A hockey career highlight would be losing his front teeth, which is not so great for grad pictures. Sam will continue his junior hockey career in the years to come. He would like to thank his coaches, teachers, and his family for their support. Best of luck, Sam. Brooklyn Wallbaum. Brooklyn, or Brookie Cookie, has been an EDGE student for two years. Brookie Cookie would like to thank her teachers, coaches, and friends who helped her come out of her shell and grow her confidence to make her a better student and basketball player. She would like to thank her parents, teachers, coaches, and friends for always being there to help her in her journey through the school year. She thanks all these people for giving her the tools to help her move forward in her life. Brooklyn will be attending the University of Victoria next year to study biology and psychology, as well as play for the Vikes women's basketball team. Good luck, Brooklyn. Georgia Williams. Georgia Williams came to Edge for her final year where she created lifelong bonds and steep gas bills. She would like to thank everyone for being so welcoming, especially her coaches who inspired her to get that 1% better every day. Now she'll forever keep her toes behind the big girl three. She would also like to thank her parents for their love, laughter and support, and her sister too, who has been her best friend and rock this year. Georgia will miss Meadow, her other teammates, and her dog Friday when she moves across the country where she will be playing basketball for St. Mary's and cramming for her Bachelor of Science. Congratulations, Georgia. Sarah Woznevich. Woz has been attending EDGE and playing on the U18 female prep hockey team since grade nine. Her favorite memory is winning the Mandy Schwartz tournament and claiming the league title in 2020. She plans to keep pursuing her athletic and academic path at the University of Wisconsin in the fall. Woz is going to miss the EDGE culture and all the people who made her experience at EDGE memorable. She wants to thank her friends, family, coaches, staff, and teachers for helping her accomplish many goals along with preparing her for her future. Congratulations, Sarah, and best of luck. Haley Yarmuk. Haley, also known as Yarmi, has been an EDGE student since grade six. She will always cherish her memories of her trip to Boston with a school visiting Fenway Park, touring universities, and having fun with classmates. Next year, Haley's plans are to continue playing soccer at the post-secondary level at Trinity Western University while studying business. She would like to thank her family for supporting everything she pursues and her parents for the opportunities that they have made possible for her. Also to the teachers, coaches, and other staff members at EDGE for helping her become the student, athlete, and person she is today. Best of luck, Haley. Hello graduates, parents, and EDGE family. I feel honored to be giving the valedictorian address today and to be given this title. 
We asked Mr. Blum the other day if he could go back and change anything, what he would change. And to that he answered, if he could go back in time and do it all over again, he'd become an astronaut. And I found this to be interesting and a bit of self-reflection to see that when we are younger, when someone asks us what we wanted to be when we were older, the answer was most often grand occupations ranging from being a professional athlete to a superhero. As we get older, the answers to this question becomes more practical, wanting to be a police officer, or a doctor, or a vet. The next thing you know, you're in grade 12, going to university next year, and someone asks the question, what do you want to be when you're older? And for many, this question that used to have a multitude of answers doesn't have an answer anymore. How can someone go from dreaming so big to not having a clue what they want to do? When you're younger, you don't have a single bit of self-doubt in yourself and any limitations on what you can do. Kids have a way of believing that anything is possible and there's no potential barrier that could come between them and their dreams. As a matter of fact, when I was younger, my dad would tell me that I had something called unlimited potential, meaning I could do anything I wanted as long as I put my mind to it. At a young age, this didn't mean the same thing that it does to me today. When I was young, my unlimited potential was something that my dad gifted to me. I could do anything I wanted because my dad said so. I never quite grasped what he meant entirely, yet my dad didn't fail to continue reminding me of it. It wasn't until this year that I truly understood what my unlimited potential is to me. It was never something that my dad gave to me, but something that me and everybody around me had instilled within us. Through my lowest lows in a global pandemic to a major injury, I do prove to myself that my unlimited potential is what I make of it. Everyone has the ability to carry out their dreams just as long as they believe it themselves. Yet, as we get older, our dreams become degraded by what we decide to believe about ourselves and what others say about us. We like grades, decipher who we are as people and what we're capable of. We're told we're not smart enough, we're not big enough, and we're not good enough. And the dreams and aspirations that you once had for yourself have to morph to accommodate the limitations that you and others have created for yourself. This past year and a half, we have all gone through a time of lows filled with unknowns and the most extreme limitations. A time where we weren't able to embrace and gather with our loved ones, where we could not compete with our teams, and endured countless quarantines. A time where people told us that we can't, we won't, and we shouldn't. And as we get closer to the end and a more and gaining a more normal reality, we have proved to ourselves that we can, we will, and we should. The graduating classes of 2021 have shown an immense amount of capabilities and pushed her through and said time was so much was taken from them. A group of young individuals who have rallied together to find the positives in a time when there didn't seem to be many. So to the graduates of 2021 that still have a lifetime ahead, remember to continue to embrace challenges and live for fulfilling your childhood dreams because you can, you should, and you will. You have proven that you're strong and capable and can do anything you want as long as you put your mind to it. One day when you're asked the question, what would you change if you could go back? Answer knowing you pursued everything you wanted. I truly feel honored to be graduating with such an amazing group of people. I can't see, I can't wait to see what the future has in store for this group and where it will take everyone. Thank you to our Edge family for being a part of our journey. Thank you.